Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nick, or Nicole Freaks, or whatever you want to call me. I really don't care. And today, I have a review of the LOL Surprise OMG Neonlicious. I got her at um, Walmart, and she was the last one, and I wasn't even going to go check the toy aisle. And it happened, there happens to be one. Um, so yeah. Um, I almost didn't get her, but thank goodness. I was about to leave. Um, so yeah, I was about to leave, but then it popped in my head. Let me check the toy aisle. And there was one left. So I got her at Walmart. Like I said, um, she was $27, but she came out to be $30 with some cents with taxes. So yeah. And she was the last one. And is it just me or like these are sold out everywhere? Like, I couldn't get my hands on any of them, and this is the only one I found. So yeah, I'm happy I got her though. So this is what the box looks like up close. As you can see, it's a lot of checkered pattern, as you guys can see. Um, right here it says 20 surprises, and it says unbox fashions, and it says dress me and instruct your stuff. But it's like multiple languages. The right here says, I am a fashion doll. LOL surprise, OMG. And then here's her dimmed out, series one, and neonlicious. Then on the bottom it says, warning, choking hazard, small parts, etc. And once it. And guys, um, I finally got a ring light, so I'll be doing a lot more face videos. Right here, it just has checkers. And then I guess this is the sister that she's based off of. Based off of, damn, I can't speak. I say that in every video. I'm pretty sure you guys are annoyed. And then again, LOL surprise, OMG. 20 surprises. Yeah, I'm getting new, I'm new to this ring light, so sorry for the glare. And then right here it says, OMG, we stitch a strong, fierce style and stand out from the crowd. Because we're here to surprise the world. And then it's like multiple languages as well. And then here are the other girls. There's Lady Diva, Swag, Neonlicious, and Royal B. And then right here it says hashtag collect with their social media. And attention. Danger suffocation because some people try to eat their toys. And my favorite is Lady Diva but I cannot find her anywhere. Like I said earlier in the video. That these are sold out everywhere. In my, where I live at least. And then at the corner it says Neonlicious with an orangey, orangey-ish checkered pattern. And at the top it just says Hello Surprise OMG in black in the background and has a clear handle. So that is it with the box. Um, so yeah, and I'm sorry if I sound nervous because I'm pushing myself to um, do face reviews because I really want to um, connect with you guys and I can't really do that if I keep on hiding behind the camera which I am still myself but I'm like a more mellow and calmer self I guess you can say but yeah so I'm gonna start doing face reviews because I'm pushing myself because I don't want to hide behind the camera anymore so yeah well anyways back to the doll so she has this plastic clear thing keeping her from being opened up It also was taped on. I don't know how to do this. I never got one of these, so. So, wait, wait. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I'm just gonna grab it by the handle. Okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. And then, this is how she, this is how her, uh, her artwork is, which I think it's so pretty. Let me give you guys a closer look. And then this is what it says. And her artwork is so cute. As you guys can see, I love the artwork. So yeah. And right here it says the bright colors, city lights, selfie, or it didn't happen. Can't even read that. And then right here on the bottom it says, always extra, never too much. Always extra, never too much. Yeah, I read it right the first time. I thought I read it wrong. And right here are all the surprises. And let me start taking stuff out. 
so much plastic. I only got these out. She came with this little book booklet card. I don't know. It's supposed to look like a magazine. I could have just pulled it out all at once, but I'm too stupid, I guess. It's taped. Okay, I thought it was gonna fall. Got these two out. Guys, I'm so stupid. I could have just pulled her all out like this. <sighs> I could have just pulled her out like this. Why am I so dumb? Well, anyways, since I messed up, I never, I never got one of these, so just bear with me. So right here's the dressing room. Right here is front your stuff. And then the older sister. It's a dressing room. And then right here, you open it. The quality though. And then here's like artwork and stuff. And then here she is. So here she is um, with plastic. Came with a stand slash stool. See? And this is a stool part, which I'm probably not gonna use. My cat wants to be nosy. Brush, stand instructions. So she is free out of the box, and she is honestly so cute. So what she's wearing as undergarments is this like um green, it's yellow. And it has like green waves going through it. I don't know what to call it. As you guys can see, there's like green waves. But let me open all the little surprises. So in this bag, there is, let's find out. I don't wanna rip, I don't wanna ruin this, but whatever. There's this plasticky um, skirt. And it came with a real hanger. So let me put this on her real quick. And just so you guys know, the arms do pop off. And now for bag number two. It is a checkered jacket. A checkered, checkered jacket. And with a gray hanger. Let me put that on her. It is on. And now let's do this. This is what the purse looks like. It's like a kid or some type of girl. And now for the pink box, which is her shoes. As you guys can see, she's a size six and a half. And she, it even has a barcode with so much detail. It has stuffing. So let's see. I'm keeping that stuffing. Or tissue paper. I, it's called tissue paper. So this is what her shoes look like. They're on um, platforms, I believe they're called. They are on. Last but not least, this thing. So she came with this beret with studs and a little thing at the top. And then more wrapping. Let's see what it is. Okay, so she came with two earrings, a bracelet, these funky sunglasses. Let me put them on her, I'll be right back. So this is how she looks all complete in her outfit and accessories. So now let me get into the details. So she has this leopard print, or it looks like leopard print, um, beret with studs. And it has this little thing, I don't know what to call that. But personally, I don't like it, so uh, she'll be having that off. And then she has these weird shaped sunglasses. As you guys can see. And she has tan skin with pink squiggly eyebrows and with bright neon yellow eyeshadow with blue eyes and then pink eyeshadow at the bottom. And then she has blush with yellow stars and then the pink lip. And her hair is like pink and orange on one side and there's like these two strands that are longer. As you guys can see. And then she has this, like it's like overalls, but it's a skirt, like a overall skirt, I think that's what it would say. But it's like plastic see-through. And it has studs. And it's honestly so cute. And it has like 
really nice detail. And she has this pleather checkered um, jacket. And then here's the purse. So their hands are so are so detailed. Look at that. They have painted nails. And they do pop off. And as for her earrings, I forgot about her earrings. They have this weird triangle or square. Depends how you look at it. Squiggly triangles. So yes. And then she has these platform shoes. And then obviously we went through the undergarment. It's like a weird tracksuit. And I forgot to mention she came with this little magazine. And it says fashion magazine. What's your sign? And in the back there's even a little barcode. And inside is a picture of her. Don't worry if things look a little gray. Bright skies are just around the corner. And it says she's a Gemini. So she's a two-face. I'm just kidding guys. And I forgot to mention, she comes with a yellow brush. Well, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. It has come to the end of my review. Um, I love this doll. I plan on getting more. And also, I would like to say that I apologize if this video is all over the place. I have to get used to talking to a camera, like face to face. Thank you guys so much for the people that are actually watching me. I appreciate it so much. If you would like, you can follow me at NicoleFreak666 on Instagram. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and remember, stay freaky.